Hello fellow reefers, March here again in the frag box and today I'm going to talk to you about dosing magnesium to your reef tank. Okay, so we've been really busy here in the store. Um, thankfully, thank you to everyone who's ordered. You guys are keeping us alive you're keeping the doors open you're keeping the rent paid we are very thankful to everyone that continues to order we're going through a pandemic right now not good um but because we're quite busy the testing on this tank has been a little bit lackluster we're getting a little lazy with the testing and we checked the magnesium levels on the weekend it was a couple days ago they were reading around 1340 1350 so most brands, if you read on the back of a bottle, it'll tell you here, actually, let's look at Red Sea. I'm gonna to talk to you guys in a second about Red Sea. But if you check out here on the back of the bottle, let me just focus, very sorry. It says that you can keep your mag quite low. I don't agree with this, hold on. There we go. So they're saying in an SPS tank, 1390. And then for some reason, based on the type of corals you're keeping, 1350 for a mixed reef, 1280 for SPS dominant, um, ultra low nutrients 1220 uh, I'm sorry Red Sea you guys are great we love Red Sea here in the store they probably have the largest I had to take the filter off they have the largest probably section of hardware here in the store we give them the most room they have lots of lots of awesome products but I don't agree with those magnesium levels that they're saying for 1200 if I see 1220 1250 uh, we're in trouble I'm gonna start trying to raise the mag quite quickly in a reef tank um, in this one here, we keep it at 1500, even sometimes as high. We aim for 15 to 1600. You are not going to hurt any corals by keeping it elevated. And I find, in my experience, as always, talking from my own experiences, um, elevated magnesium, you're going to get better results out of your LPS corals, especially Euphilia. So that's going to be the torches, the hammers, hammer corals, and sorry, glass a little bit dirty and octo frog spawn even acans blastos goniporas cyphastrias i find with higher magnesium levels they just look fatter and puffier and i wouldn't let the mag personally in my tank dip below 1400 so right now we're too low um, if you're experiencing something like this step number one um, before you ever add anything to your tank i can't stress this enough you always want to test so don't watch a video like this and don't just start adding magnesium because you think you need it or calcium or alkalinity or anything you add to the tank i can't stress this enough go out and get a test kit first check out the other videos i've talked about these guys before this is my preferred magnesium test kit as far as i know there's no digital readouts for magnesium offered on the market today like um like the hannah checkers they offer for calcium alkalinity and phosphate this is this is by far my favorite test kit for mag i think it's reliable but anyways grab a test kit first if you find that it's low um, raising magnesium is really easy it's as simple as picking a supplement so i'm going to use red seas magnesium here they call it foundation c and it comes in a liquid you can also buy it in a powder it's much more cost effective to mix it on your own this one is convenient if you don't have access to this one i also really like um esv this is another great brand i use this stuff for well over 10 years only recently with covid there was a huge shortage um of these products at least here in canada we couldn't get this ESV two part and magnesium for close to a year. And so because of that, we still needed to dose mag and I turned to Red Sea and I was happy with the results. So we switched over completely. Um, actually all the stores in the system right now are running off the Red Sea foundation supplements. Oh, another quick note, it takes a lot of mag to raise it very little. So don't be worried if you're adding 50, 100, 150 mils. Mag is one of those things that you shouldn't be too worried about overdosing. It's not like um, alkalinity or other things like that. So if you feel like, oh my God, I'm putting in a lot of mag just to raise it, it does take quite a bit of magnesium supplement in order to elevate the number. So just don't be shocked by how much you may have to add based on these directions here. One other cool thing about the Red Sea bottles here on the top, they actually give you this pretty neat cap. I don't know if you can see it here, but you cut this tip off and you put your dosing line right into the bottle. So this thing acts as a dosing container. So that's just one other kind of cool feature that they offer that I don't think anyone else does right now. So go ahead and add it to your tank if you have a sump or a filter. Um, I wouldn't add it directly to your aquarium. Try and add it into a spot of high flow so it gives it um, a chance to mix. So this is just 
basically magnesium chloride. So I've gone ahead and added it there and I probably won't see a change in the numbers until I want to say a day. So I'm not going to test again today. I'll give it a day to really, really mix and then take it from there. So I'm not seeing any issues with the corals. Um, we lost one torch that was in here. It wasn't doing too well. I've since replaced it with another one. So this is just from uh, another video. This was a torch that we had here in the tank and it wasn't doing terribly well. Sort of from day one, it was kind of bleached. Um, didn't have the best color and then it started to recede from the base up and we lost it. So that's what made me um, start looking at magnesium levels. Anytime I use a, lose a euphilia, um, number one thing I'm looking at, magnesium and then salt. So, so there's a lot more um, to magnesium than that. I'm not going to get too much into the chemistry. It's very important for maintaining your calcium and alkalinity levels. Um, that's something I would invite you to go read about. It's starting to get into a little bit more of the complex chemistry behind the elements in the tank and keeping a reef tank. So I'm not going to get into that too much in this video. Um, just wanted to show you how we dose it here in the store if you're thinking about dosing it and that it's crucial for corals, especially LPS corals. But I think that's it for today's video. If you guys got any comments, you know, you can always leave them below or questions. I'll leave our contact info as usual. And thank you very, very much for watching. One more thing, I always do this. Sidetrack, here we go. So Josh, one of our, our besties here locally, he had mag of 1150 and we had to mark it because that's the lowest we had ever seen in any reef tank. People bring us water all the time to test. Daily, we're getting people's water samples. Um, we're happy to help, we like testing it, you can bring it by. So we have this little thing going on here on the wall. If anybody is able to beat Josh's record of 1150, we give you a free bottle of magnesium because Lord knows you need it. That's very, very low. So I don't know if anyone will ever beat this. I don't know how he got that low. Um, we didn't believe it when he told us and then we, he brought his water over and we did test it. So if you're, uh, if you're even close to that number, you're here locally in Toronto, bring us your water, let us test it. And if you're lower than 1150 parts per million, we're happy to give you a free bottle of Red Sea magnesium.